Hi, this is Katsumi Hanada at EM Labs. Today, I'm very excited to show you our 6G LED DKDF test solution. Even at very high frequency like 300 GHz, the solution is easy to use and accurate. Please enjoy. First, I'll explain about the system overview. This is how it looks like in a lab. Keysight Technologies Network Analyzer. J-Band extension modules Control PC to RAM measurement software and EM Labs Fabry Pedal Resonator Basically, this is what you need A good thing about this solution is that you can set up on a normal working table Traditional Fabry Pedal Resonators are often very sensitive and require a vibration isolation table for stable measurements as to the product lineup, the solution covers 60 to 330 GHz with 5 models. The operation is the same in all 5 models and I will show you the highest frequency J-band model today. From now I'm gonna show you how to set up from the very beginning starting from the millimeter wave module connection. First I'm gonna remove the 110 GHz modules. It is pretty easy as all the cables are nicely combined into one cable. Then I just connect the J-band modules instead. Connect the cables and tighten with screws. Turn on the analyzer and load the J-band setup. Finally, just turn on the modules. With that, J-Band Network Analyzer measurement is ready. We move on to the Fabry pedal setup. It is also very easy. With these nice tables, you can easily connect the waveguide connectors. Then you just tighten the connection with the special clamps. That's all for hardware setup. Before starting measurements, I summarize what we measure today. We measure DKDF at J-band 220 to 330GHz at 44 frequency points with 2.5GHz step. We measure a commercially available Rolos film of 38 micrometer pp. There are four steps. First, evaluate the resonator itself at empty condition. Second, set the test sample. Then adjust its position to the center of the fixture. Finally, measure the sample at all the test frequencies. I will show you these four steps one by one. Let's start measurement. You operate through the material test software, which controls the analyzer. This is the main display with simple user interface. You can enter sample information here. There are operation patterns. And test results are displayed in charts and numerical data. Now we start the first step of empty measurements. The resonator is automatically evaluated from 330 GHz with 2.5 GHz step. You can see very clean symmetric resonance. It takes about 6 minutes to complete. Now I set the sample to the fixture. Remove the sample plates and sandwich the sample. With this method, even a very thin film can be set easily. Another advantage is that you can make a warped sample flat. Finally, set the cover for stable measurements. Then click Adjust Sample to start adjustment to position the sample exactly the center of the fixture. Slowly rotate the knob 
until the trace comes to the bottom. You can see the adjustment completed very accurately as this line shows the 1% error in DK measurement. Finally, click sample measurement to start. Find the resonance from 330 GHz one by one and results are displayed in chart and numbers. Measurement time depends on samples, but in case of low loss thin film like this time, it takes only three minutes for entire J band. You can save the results as CSV with the export function. I think you find the measurement surprisingly easy at very high frequency like 300 gigahertz. Finally, we do some repeatability test. In addition, I'll show an isotropy can be evaluated. The sample is measured with vertical electric field. So if you rotate the sample, you can see an isotropic characteristic. In this repeatability test, I rotate the sample by 90 degrees at each measurement. Rotate the sample and start second measurement. Return the sample direction and start third measurement. Rotate again and start fourth measurement finally. I summarized the four results in this chart. It shows that the sample has 1.7% anisotropy, while the results with the same direction match perfectly in both directions. Regarding loss tangent, the results clearly show that the sample maintains very low loss below 0.001 at 300 GHz range. That's all for today. We are ready for 60 DKDF test with this easy to use and accurate solution up to 330 GHz. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Our measurement service is ideal if you'd like to evaluate your materials at 300 GHz today. Thank you for watching.